What's up guys, how are we doing? Today, I'm gonna to be taking you through my kitchen. I'm gonna be cooking up three meals that help me lose fat within this prep that are time efficient and absolutely delicious as well. So I'm gonna show you my three favorite and then you can pick and choose which ones you wanna try out. But this is what works for me. Something else might work for you. So make sure you find what works for you. But we'll get into it now. First meal of the day, we're gonna be cooking up some salmon and also broccolini as well. So this is going on the pan. I'm gonna be also having this with rice. Let's go. Bro, did you see that rice? Like Sweet, so we have our first meal here. We got salmon, broccolini, and rice with seasoning. So the first one we got, the salmon skin is a bit black, but that's just crispy from the seasoning we put on originally. We got broccoli with literally just salt and pepper um, cooked at the same time as the salmon. And then we also got the rice here, which also has the rice seasoning called furikake. So literally these things are a life changer. Um, old Japanese spirit in here. Uh, makes anything taste good, especially, oh, it makes any sort of rice taste 20,000 times better for pretty much minimal calories. So if you don't have this on your cup, you make sure you do so. I'd say this all totals up to about um, whatever you see on the screen there, macro wise. And yeah, I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna actually gonna eat this one. Sweet, so we're gonna be cooking some Protein pasta now. Now, I've said this in my last grocery haul video. Easiest thing to make, probably takes a total of 10 minutes, 15 minutes, if that. Basically, just gonna cook up some turkey mince, which I've got in the fridge right now, and then chuck a bunch of seasoning with it, and then we put the pasta on while that's happening, and then at the end, we just chuck the, the pasta base, which is a garlic flavor right here. Right, let's get into it. Meal number two is turkey mince protein pasta uh, with a garlic sauce. So here is the, one of the easiest things I make on a day to day. Like it literally probably takes me 15 minutes to 20 minutes max to make. And then you can also make a bunch of small portions in this as well. For me today, I've made it three separate portions because I can, that's about 700, 800 calories. But if you are getting deeper into the prep, you can actually make it like four portions and split it out over 25% each. So then that would be like maybe 450 calories and quite filling, satiating as well. I think in this little bowl, you get about 50 grams of um, protein to about maybe 75 carbs, 100 carbs, something like that. So actually I'm talking out my ass. I don't know how much macros are actually in there. But anyway, yeah, one of the easiest meals to make, very delicious and um, yeah, give it a try if you want. All right guys. For the last meal, we're gonna be doing some low carb, high protein wraps. Now this is just literally the most easiest, simple, least time consuming thing you can make because you literally just slap on the wrap, you slap on what's on top, fold it up and eat it. Um, we got turkey breast here, 80 grams in each container. And then we're gonna be using these as our main protein source alongside. To make it a bit more volumeful, we got some flour, we got some cucumber, tomato, everything like that, all the fun stuff. One nut. Oh, shit. All right, I'll get into it. Alright, 
cool, so here we have our cool little turkey wrap. Now that literally, I think, took about five minutes to make or less than that. Um, you can see it's got a lot of veg and nice little bits of slaw in there as well. For seasoning, we just used um, peri peri salt, so very light calories. And obviously you got your protein sauce, low carb, high protein wrap. So yeah, quite easy. Um, it goes down a treat as well, and it's quite filling as well, because you got a lot of veg. Um, that's quite low calorie. So yeah, that's all my foods, the three options we have for today. So we had the protein pasta, we had the salmon with the broccolini and rice, and then was, we've also had these little beautiful wraps right here. All right, so that's all done for today. There are the three recipes. Give them a try if you like. These are what kind of works for me and my prep. I have very sort of similar meals every single day, so it's easy to track it. And I've cooked it like a million times, so it's always so much easier to you know cook it that way. Anyway, this is about week four of my deficit now. I'll give you a bit of an update. So definitely feeling the low energy now. I know how before in the grocery haul, I was talking about, you know, going to two festivals and feeling fine and all that. And I think I've definitely rushed conclusions because I think in the last week or so, just my energy has dipped all the way down. And, you know, I'll say on a Saturday night, I was hanging with some friends and in the gym as well, you know, you can just feel the, the lethargicness and how much you want to sit down is another thing as well. When you start dieting, the first thing you want to, you, your brain wants to do is like sit down all the time. Like I'll be less on my feet. I don't want to get up as much, you know, and this is still early stages. So we'll see how long it lasts like this for. But um, anyway, um, I've made some adjustments. Um, I'm a, a hell of a lot of social media now. I'm being a lot more, um, I'm being a lot more selective with how I spend my time throughout my day because I know I have a limited amount of energy. I'm like, I need to do things that are going to um, make me feel more fulfilled by doing less, if that makes sense. So, you know, prioritizing the steps, prioritizing the, the calories, prioritizing the meals, prioritizing the training and obviously work tasks and, you know, hanging with friends when I can, but this is gonna be a very quiet time for me to sort of focus in, tune in on my goals and really bring the best package to this 2023 IFBB stage as possible. For my first, I wanna do it right. So I'm completely sober still, and I don't intend on drinking at all ever for this whole 20 week prep, um, is, which is the way it should be. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Just very low energy, but we're, we're gonna make it through. So I'll give you another update in a few more weeks time to let you know how the process is going and um, make sure to ask any questions you might have in the question box below and I'll try and make a YouTube video on that as well. And if you don't already, make sure to subscribe, like, and share this if it has brought you any value whatsoever. Peace.